You know, I'm sorry, mom. I never, you know what I'm saying. Don't talk to your mother like that. You know, don't talk to your dad like that either, man. You definitely shouldn't talk to your, your dad like that, your father. You know? See, you know what I'm saying? It ain't the fact that don't talk to your mom like that because she's a woman. It's just, they get, like you said, it's their emotions, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, men have emotions too, but out of respect, you should definitely talk to your father better than your mother, if anything. But at the end of the day, you you, you honor them both, like the scriptures say. Yeah, because it's wrong to talk to any any of them wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? But you shouldn't be be biased because I'm a man. I'm gonna teach my child not to talk to a man a certain way and let him talk to women any kind of way. It don't work like that because you're not supposed to talk to grown people any kind of way. I don't care if they're Edomite, man. Unless they, unless they um, you know, you respect your elders. When it comes to a point that they're, you know, stepping on your toes, you gotta, you know, you gotta let them know, man. You know, but you don't sit there, sit here as no baby, about six years old, slapping on grown folks. Or you got little women, or little girls hopping in grown men lap, man. You know? Yeah, that ain't supposed to be done, but it's like, oh, let them do what they're gonna do. they kids, you know? You're supposed to, you're supposed to be the we'll wrong. Be able to find some shade you know? Yeah, yeah. I think that one there is good. Okay, uh, the brother wanted me to get the uh, word for judgment. It's uh, the Hebrew word, mashapat, which says judgment, justice, ordinance, act of deciding a case. Act of deciding a case. Ordinance. Okay, go ahead. Place, court, seat of judgment, process, procedure, litigation. Before uh, parentheses to say before judges. Yeah, before judges. Your judgment. So how how do men of the Lord hold court? You know what I'm saying? That's through counsel, man. That's holding court on you. You know? And, and it don't have to be bad judgment. It could, it, it's all about correcting you. You know? Y'all respect Esau's system, but let you do your let you do your time. The world's still gonna judge you, man. You know? Unless you act like. Esau, I Esau wants you to act all soft, all feminine, weak, you know what I'm saying? If you're acting like that, then uh, the system, the so-called white man system will condone you and forgive you. You know, if you bow down and, oh, yeah, women are just as equal as men. And, uh, you know, we all, you know, shout out to the gay rights and all. That's when they say, oh, yeah, he's repentant. You know what I'm saying? That's when so-called, you I don't care how much time you do, man. You know? They always talking about forgiveness, 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 or or they forget the past, or, or, or judge, least you be not judged. You'll send a nigga, you'll send a kid away for life, man. Give a kid the electric chair, man. Send us a child to, to, to the death penalty, man. You know? But then, then when somebody got something to say about a flaming faggot, we wicked. When, the, when we got all, all justice, just as much right as biblically, we got all right. In your society, you got you got the right. You got the right to say what's wrong and right. This is, you rule them. Now, of course, the Bible doesn't make it wrong and right. No, you know what I'm saying. If you ain't according to the Bible, you're going off. I don't care if you're ruling or not. But we got we got to render unto Caesar things that are unto Caesar. You know. Go ahead. It also says uh, <clears throat> a case, cause presented for judgment. Sentence, decision of judgment, execution of judgment, time of judgment, uh, justice, right, uh, ritual, uh, and it says attributes of God or man, um, ordinance, decision in law, right, privilege, due, far as legal. Yeah, privilege, right. That's judgment. Letting you know what your rights are. Letting you know what your privileges are. Your privileges is, is to eat chicken, beef. Lamb, you know, we let you know what your privileges are, okay? But here it is. Oh, don't judge. Don't tell nobody what to do. Like, how can anybody learn? You got to, you got to, when you raise your kid, you're judging them from out the womb all the way up. But then when somebody do something as a grown person, all of a sudden, don't judge nobody. That's retarded, man. When you go to work and you get a raise or promotion, not somebody judging you, man. Yeah, they're judging your you character know? performance. Yeah, they're judging your performance, you know. But when it's when it's something beneficial to you, oh, it's okay. You don't, you you you're deep into the knowledge. But then, when when it's all up against you, you can't figure why somebody don't need to be judged, man. You know, what type of shit is that, man? Go ahead. It says a uh, proper, fitting, measure, fitness, custom, 
Manor or Flint? Yep. So uh, give me that in uh, Jeremiah when he says uh, they most times are described. Yeah, and they got this uh, big thing in social media right now with uh, people saying that they don't judge me. And they put makeup in their face and they look ugly as hell. And then the next screen, they got their regular face. And they got the, the right. sexiest look on, you know what I'm saying, or whatnot. You know, that's, that's people saying... Um, yeah, they're judging that, what ugly is. Yeah. That's, that's... What, what about people with freckles now? What if you got a unibrow? You're actually judging by saying that that's ugly. Yeah, you're judging. With, like, you know, you got a, everybody got a unibrow that do it. And then, when you got your hairline straight and this and that, and, and make no, man. Then you said the motherfucker should take that fucking hand off and a, a bitch be fucking hair. She got a fucking uh, uh, finger waves. She got big earrings. She chewing gum and then she put her hand over and she got her head covered, man. Okay? With, a, with, with the Bible in the hand. Okay? That's true beauty, man. With a mouth shut. You know? Piece of tape on it. <laughs> yeah, dude, he got his beard shaved and then he put his hand over and then he got a full man chew, man. That, that's how you do that. You know? Not, not a, you got a unibrow. You basically saying anybody that got a unibrow, they're ugly. Anybody that got a gap in their teeth, they're ugly. Anybody that got freckles, they're ugly. You know? And they want to talk about, don't judge me. Like, you're, you're saying what ugly, you fucking, you know, you fucking people with confidence, co fucking people with confidence up, they got unibrows. Self-esteem. Yeah, you fucking their self-esteem up. The nigga with a unibrow, like, damn. Anthony Davis can't do one. I say Anthony yeah. Davis. <laughs> you know? I'm pretty sure Anthony Davis don't feel like, like, like he's, you know. He embraced the brow. Yeah, he embraced the brow, you know. But according to the society, you got a unibrow, you ugly. But then you're talking about don't judge me. That's, that's, you stupid, man. You know. Yeah, because you're basically trying to say that people are beautiful on the inside no matter how they look up. But you're just saying what you think ugly is. You know? I'm about to say, it was a, I forget the, I think her, her name was like Georgia O'Keefe or something. A famous painter. And yeah, she would like do self portraits and she would keep her unibrow, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like it is what it is. Uh, this is Jeremiah 5 and 26. It says, for among my people are found wicked men. Yeah, among our people are found wicked men. Our people is the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're found wicked men. Like that pastor we was talking about, uh, Sandra Bland. You know what I'm saying? These people have a cause. They have the zeal. Some have the zeal, but not according to knowledge. I don't think that pastor had the zeal at all. I think he was just trying to, he had to, he had to put, basically he had to uh, get the nigga straight. He had to keep his, his 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 boat afloat because people were getting stirred up like, I can't believe they passed the homosexual law, blah, 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 blah. It's nice commotion among the people. Now it's going to, you know, you're going to start losing people in your congregation if you, you know what I'm saying? So you got to justify it and make it sound godly at the same time so you can keep your members in your church. And if you I know? can speak on it, he might have two or three, you know what I'm saying, gay couples in that crowd right then that want to get married. If they want to get married, where are they going to get married? At that church, if he turned them away, he gonna lose his 501c3 charter. Yeah, he has to he has to protect his he has to protect his interest. If he uh if he breaks that interest, then that's that's detrimental to him. But I'm gonna tell you about the men of the Lord, the elect, the 144,000. We don't break our interests, okay? We don't are not break out the slack here. We are uh, are not um stamina the lips. Basically, we are not doing it for the, our personal interest. Our personal interest is salvation. We are doing it for our personal interest because we're trying to get salvation. The only way you do, get, salvation, uh, get salvation is be a fool for the most high. You know, be the elect. Be the 144,000. Be out here teaching, uh, living in, living according to the ways of the most high truth and sincerity, uh, uh, teaching others the right and wrong. Because what he did, what that pastor said is, uh, yeah, you can't tell nobody nothing. In, you know what I'm saying? When you out here doing this and doing that, you can't tell a homosexual about doing that. Cause, and, and, and you don't tell him nothing when he in your church because it's good for business and this and that. He was dead ass like he's telling niggas off. You know, this nigga was being a demon, man. Because when the scriptures say, uh, uh, when you when you can um, give them passage that you uh, that you are partakers in their sins. I always say that, man. I always bring out that scripture. You bid them God speed, you're partakers of their sins. 
You know, you basically want them to flourish. You don't want you, you know, you, you're supposed to root for their downfall, man.